I, Seth, take you, Abigail, to be my wife, before God who brought us together and before these witnesses. I, Abigail, take you, Seth, to be my husband before God who brought us together and before these witnesses. Therefore a man shall leave his father and his mother and should hold fast to his wife, and the two shall become one flesh. I remember first holding my first baby girl and you know, and I'm holding her in my arms right at the beginning there and I just thought, a baby girl. As a dad, the thing I've always prayed for each one of my kids has been uh, that they could find a spouse that, you know, that loves them as much as Christ loves them. And Seth, uh, you're the answer to that prayer. Praise you for the gift that you've given Seth and Abigail and just giving them the gift of marriage with each other. Praise you as we heard the stories yesterday for how you use them in awesome ways and the lives of so many to point, to point them to you and you've been glorified in their life. And we praise you for just the clear desire that they have even in this, this wedding day, also in their marriage, to continue to glorify you and honor you and lift you up. And so Lord, as they prepare to... Um... Join their lives together, I ask that you prepare their hearts for one another. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That you would ever be close. Mm -hmm. That you would guide them in this life together. Mm -hmm. Wherever it takes. And then as they get busy with life, and they always have you as a compass. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I, Seth, take you, Abigail, to be my wife, before God who brought us together and before these witnesses. For the glory of God our Father, through Jesus Christ, I make this covenant of marriage with you. Living for His glory, I promise to love you with the love that comes from Christ, to provide for your needs through His enablement, and to lead you as He leads me, as long as we live, regardless of circumstances. I, Abigail, take you, Seth, to be my husband before God who brought us together and before these witnesses. With greatest joy, I come into a new life with you. I face new responsibilities that I cannot fulfill on my own strength, but by God's grace and power alone working within me. I promise to honor you as a gift from God, to always be faithful to you, and to share fully in your life as one flesh, to share in your joys, trials, burdens, as the one who's your closest friend. All these things I promise to uphold through God's grace alone. By the authority committed to me as a minister of Christ's church to pronounce you husband and wife according to the ordinance of God. Seth, you may now kiss your bride. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, it is now my greatest and highest honor to with great joy to introduce to you for the very first time, Mr. and Mrs. Seth Schwarzendruber.
It truly has been an honor to have a front seat view to your relationship with Seth, the man that God has given you to be your lifelong companion and love. Proverbs 31.10, an excellent wife who can find. She is far more precious than jewels. And uh, Seth, I think it's clear you, you, uh, you've made the find of a lifetime. 